So you're starting to take your music a little bit more serious in FL Studio. But no matter how many videos you've been watching on mixing, your music still sounds like this. Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. I used to spend so much time researching how to mix vocals, and now I'm gonna show you everything that's been gatekept so that your songs could finally sound like this. Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. Walk in closet, adding all your shoes in like a car. Welcome to the channel, my name is Issa, and today I'm gonna be showing you why your vocals still suck. So make sure you watch to the very end. So now I'm in FL Studio, and as you guys can see, this is probably what a lot of your projects look like. These are the vocals without any kind of effects on them. Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. Walk in closet, adding all your shoes in like a car. Wait until you come my way. Disguise your face. Now to get started on a quick mix, usually you'll double click on your main vocals and route them to an insert. I just put mine on insert two, and then you take your ad libs and put them on a different one. So my ad libs are on insert three, and then you have 10 slots to add as many effects as you want. Now what happens when you pick 10 effects from here, but your vocals still aren't good enough? So for reference, if you have an auto tune and then you have five EQs to clean up your mic, you're left with only four slots. You can't do anything with four slots. It's not gonna be able to fix your vocals. The only thing you can really do is side chain. So you'd have to click on this thing and then unroute it from here. Nobody wants to deal with all that. If you're an artist, you wanna just have your effects so you can get to rapping. Well, there actually is one thing you can do. So let me go ahead and show you. So let me just clear this. So the 10 slots are still empty. What I'm gonna do is throw on my mainstream vocal bundle. Now this comes with a main vocals preset as well as an ad lib preset. So the way that works is you'll just download it from the link in the description and then you could just drag it in. Now that you dragged in your preset, you can hear how crispy you sound. It's crazy. Now let's hear how my old vocals sound. Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. Walk in closet, adding all your shoes in like a car Wait until you come my way No disguise your fate If I show his fate, baby, wave up at the stars Now you guys heard that instantly transform my vocals And it's because of this secret sauce plugin right here Now if we go ahead and open it up, you can see there's a ton of different effects stacked in here When you guys get presets from all these other guys, they only have these 10 filled up That's not enough to mix vocals If you look at Drake's engineers, Juice World's engineers These guys have plugins on plugins on plugins The only way for you to achieve that perfect mix is being able to stack a bunch of plugins in one plugin. And so far, I haven't seen anybody doing that with their presets. So let's go ahead and check out that ad lib preset. Even, this one sounds insane. Even the ad libs sound insane, and it's because I stacked a bunch of plugins in Patcher. I used to sidechain all the time so I could stack EQs and things like that to get a more professional sound, but nothing's been working as good as this. So let's go ahead and play it without any of those effects. Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. Oh, hell no. Walk in closet, adding all your shoes in like a car. And then if we go ahead and just click them on, Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. Walk in closet, adding all your shoes in like a car. Wait until you come my way. No disguise your face. If I show his fate, baby, wave up at the stars. Now, let's say you don't want to download this preset. How can you stack these plugins yourself? Let me show you how. So, let's say my vocals are routed to insert 12 right here. And then we just have a ton of plugins here. Click on an empty slot and locate Patcher right over here. And then you want to right click, go to add plugin and just pick a plugin. So let's do an EQ, open that up. You could tweak it around. Let's say you wanna boost some of the highs, cut the lows, and then you wanna add another plugin. Let's say you wanna do a chorus. Now you wanna just unlink this, link this back, and you're good to go. You could just keep stacking plugins as much as you want. The only thing is you have to be careful with the EQ so you're not cutting or boosting too much, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't see enough people using this method, and it's kind of upsetting because the things you can achieve with this is crazy. Now, the last thing I wanna show you guys is the difference that it makes. Okay, so now I'm in the preset, right? And if I turn this off, it sounds so much more muddy. And look, we still have two EQs. They just weren't enough. Now it's back to that crispy sounding quality. Before I wrap up this video, let me just turn this off and play the song for both of them. Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. Walk in closet, adding all your shoes in like a car. Let me let me just turn it back on, save you guys a... Elon Musk, your body might have landed off from Mars. It gives it that breathy, clear, crisp sound that you can't get anywhere else. So make sure you guys go check out the mainstream vocal bundle or play around with Patcher yourself and hit that like button.